You've uh, seen my next guest's beautiful face on the cover of over 200 magazines. Please welcome supermodel Cindy Crawford. <laughs> term supermodel do you lift heavy things do you fly how do you get that terminology i have never figured that one out i don't know where it, where it's from supermodel uh what's a day in your life like like what did you start doing this morning this morning i went to zuma beach and um did a vogue cover try or something like that if they shoot like maybe five different pictures that are possibly the cover and then they choose one so i don't know if i got it or not yet yeah you know, I, I saw you on something you did get. Um, the other night, they had a video. I was surprised to see you and a lot of other big models in that, I guess it's Freedom by George, George Michael's. George video. Yeah. Did you like it? I, I loved it. I, but how did he get, I mean, you all make a lot of money, and he's not in it, but big, big name, big bank models are in it. Well, um, he, I think he decided not to do any videos for his new album. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, um... He had seen a picture, I think it was a British Vogue cover from two years ago. They had the five of us, Christy, Linda, Naomi, who I don't know if you know, and uh, Tatiana, and myself. And he just decided, they had this idea, David Fincher, who does a lot of videos, yeah. to use girls. And George decided those are the five girls he wanted. I don't really know why, but it worked out with our agents. We sort of all agreed to do it, and um, it was fun. I mean, lip syncing to someone else's song is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you all did the joke that time. <laughs> They're thinking they got vanilla on the brain. Oh, oh, oh. You know? And they did the joke that time. It wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> That's true. I forgot about that. It was very timely, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but but it's a great video. God, it would have been cheaper for George to get Sinatra to do the video than all those <laughs> models and everything. I don't know. We gave him a, we gave him a group rate. A group rate. <laughs> Okay. You were talking about shooting on, on the beach this morning, and this is a question I always wanted to ask you, but I get shy sometimes when you're here. And, and I've always wondered about even pretzels at the, um, at the amusement park, how they get the salt to stick. But in that same vein, your, your Playboy layout, how did they get the sand to stick to your breast like that? You know, you know how... They... Wow, we're oh, you see, like, 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 see, there, no, no, but... It, it, you can't show that. It was something I was wondering about. I mean, is it maple syrup? That's what I heard. That's the rumor honey. among photographers. Honey. Honey? Yeah. And then they sprinkle the sand on it's the... It's not honey. Oh, okay. It's water. And you, lay, water. you get wet, you lay in the sand, it sticks, and they call me Sandy for two weeks, okay? It was oh, really? Very easy. Is it hard to do one of those things? Um... I don't know. I mean, when you're there, it's six people that you know very well, you've been working with for a week, they sort of say, mm, let's do this. And when I did Playboy, I knew it was... I knew what it was. I mean, if you do Playboy, you sort of expect that you're going to have to take your clothes off a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But um, I don't know. I sort of figure it's like when, I'm, when gravity finally wins this battle that I'm fighting with it, I'm going to be glad to have those pictures. You know, I can say to my little grandkids, look at her ma grandma used to look like this. Yeah. <laughs> and they won't believe me, but I'll, I'll know it's true. So. How old are you? 24. 24. Oh, you, your fight won't happen for a long no, time. Well, yeah. No, I know. Well, it's already started. I think that, that happens for girls. I mean, your body changes. All of a sudden, you're like 20, and all of a sudden, like, you could eat whatever you wanted, and I have to think about it. And all of a sudden, it doesn't happen that way anymore. But thank God, it's your master. <laughs> yeah. And, and you've been blessed with uh, a certain kind of unique body for a model. Uh, you know, w without having it augmented, it's, it's very special. Does, does it bother you? It's special. Does, does it bother you when your competition, like, when they, like, do things to their body, and you kind of went. It doesn't really natural. bother me. I mean, I think that it, people. I used to be like totally anti-surgery and all that, but if it makes someone feel better, like a lot of people, they feel a lot better about themselves. So if that, if that's the case, then I think that that's good. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Did you get home for Thanksgiving? Yeah, I just came from DeKalb, Illinois, and uh, with my family. Yeah. They're all from DeKalb. I can't believe it. <laughs> Somewhere around. <laughs> So, yeah, it was great, because I saw my family, and I saw some friends I went to school with, and went bowling with my family. You like to bowl? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I did good. I got a 153. That is good. I was very impressed. You don't bowl 
Oh, yes, that's yeah. very good. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I got a 153. It was like they were just hitting. You know, like when you sort of steer them with your, like that, and, you, yeah. and it was working, so. And if I was the ball, I would listen to Cindy. <laughs> you know? She said this. Okay, I'm going that way. Uh, so if I ever need a bowling ball, I know who to call. Roll me, baby, roll me. Uh, <laughs> When you went home, is it hard now that you go back? I mean, are you the focus of attention? Is it uncomfortable? You know, I'm sure you know when you go. It's like everyone, I am come from a very small town, smaller than Cleveland, so mm -hmm. everyone knows at holidays I'm probably going to be in town, so everyone's sort of looking at for me. And I went to a club with my sisters, like the only place to dance in DeKalb, and I sort of felt that everyone was looking at me, and I couldn't just relax and have fun yeah. as much as I would have if, and also, you know, you see your friends, and I'm, I want to know what they're doing, too, but they're, sometimes all the attention gets focused on me, and, and I want to know how, how they're, you know, a lot of my friends, one of my friends is having a baby, and one friend just got married, and I want to hear about that, too, but they want to hear, what famous people have you met, or what have you been doing lately? Sometimes I have relatives and friends that even say, oh, you don't care about what I'm doing, yeah. you know, but you do. Or they go, well, I can't say what I've been doing. That's nothing compared to going to Europe or whatever. And, you know, you're like, no, but I, I really want to know. Yeah. So. You ever run into any of those guys who dumped you in high school? Guys who, you know, and you... what guys who dumped me in high school? Never happened. <laughs> no. That's good. That's good. No, I did actually. Oh. Not dumped, but you know, you have some guys you have crushes on. But then yeah. I had boyfriends for like always like two years or something. So yeah. I never was like. Because I know there's one guy in DeKalb. Is that it? Yeah. Sitting around. I thought the mole was ugly. I don't know. <laughs> 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 you know, we'll take a commercial, we'll come right back with supermodel Cindy Crawford. <laughs> I've been, I just did a commercial for them for Unforgettable Fragrance with Nat King Cole singing yeah. Unforgettable. Not the real Nat King Cole, unfortunately, but the footage, original footage, which was great. And I've been doing a lot of personal appearances for them. And, and when you do a personal appearance, what do you do? Well, I sort of uh, go to the store, wherever they have me, and meet, mostly just signing autographs. But it's interesting because, well, first of all, I like to really say hi to every person. Cause I saw once Donald Trump signing autographs going, yeah. You know, and I think people, they wait in line for an hour or whatever. That's not really fair. So I say hi, and can I write something provided it's, you know, some people come up with amazing things to write, and I go, well, maybe, or I put a question mark at the end of it. But it's fun because I never get to meet my audience. As a model, you do your pictures, and they come out three months later, and you're not like, it's like here, you have your audience, they clap when you, when you do your job. Yeah. And a model never gets that kind of... You never meet your audience. So for me, it's really fun to say people, they have pictures they've collected for, you know, two years or whatever. It's right. nice. I know you're doing this new television project. There's no live audience with no, that, right? No, it's, it's all taped. Yeah. It's more like E.T. or something. Yeah, wrap around. <laughs> yeah, this Why do you laugh? Home, home. No, not that <laughs> E.T. Entertainment Tonight, I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this audience has their own show going on yeah, in their mind. I, I got a vanilla joke. Um, <laughs> tell us about the show. Um, well, it was... It's a style show, but it's like an MTV hip, hip talk style show. It's funny. We, we sort of do like what... We did a show on Fake First. We tried to be very environmentally conscious. We do a story on like um, this, the... It's the 60s. You know how that, that whole fashion craze is coming back, 60s and 70s. So we did a piece on that. And I mostly do wraparounds, which is connecting the two pieces. And then I do one interview, usually, or one piece within, within the show. And the last time I had Tracy Ullman on my show, and we just dressed up in clothes and, at the Plaza Hotel. And it was very funny, I thought. Yeah. No, I saw that one. It was funny. And um, this time I had Will Smith on. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be funny. It was great. I, we had so much fun. Uh, did you bring a clip of it, either of those? I was going to say I don't remember which one, but I do, actually. <laughs> the one I brought is, um, I went to Will's set of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna, he was going to give me a tour of the set, and then he was going to dress me up to be fly, which is like a new word that I learned. Fly meaning... Very no. cool in rap. Ah, talk. okay. So, <laughs> Will was thinking that I was like a very... Um, very straight white girl who listens to James Taylor, which I am. So <laughs> I did my homework, though, and I found out from another rapper that the cool thing is on your Air Jordans to keep the tag on. Absolutely. Okay. I didn't know this, but I did find this out. So when I showed up, I showed Will my sneakers, and I think... Are we ready? Is it lined up? Yeah, yeah. It's, okay, it's this lined. is the clip. Okay, Sandy, let me see this very 
Fly clip. My fly clip. Because I like real fancy jackets. I got my Air Jordans. You got your Air Jordans. And look, I was. Is this is this cool? Yeah, you're good. But see, you know no, wait, what? Fin, they have. They, oh, you got. Oh, you know hey, about that. Hey, hum Humpty that, Dumpty yeah. told me to do that. Humpty, not Humpty. <laughs> Humpty. Not, it's not Dumpty. There's no Dumpty. <laughs> She does can be seen on the MTV network Wednesday, 10, 10 p.m. And then Friday at 7.30. It runs like, they'll run yes. it five times in the next week at different times. So. And I'll probably be there at least four of those five times, <laughs> believe me. This is Cindy, and I want you all to applaud for her because models never get applause. Stand ovation. Stand ovation. Stand ovation. Cindy Crawford.